Hi, it's Alex from LaughingPlace.com here today with an unboxing. We're looking at the new Walt Disney Signature Collection release of Disney's Aladdin. And last night I did an unboxing of the live action version. So this is the original animated classic. Here's the new 2019 live action adaptation. Uh, but this is the film version that you grew up with. And Walt Disney Signature Collection, that's the modern equivalent of the Platinum Edition or the Diamond Edition. Um, the line is almost complete. So Aladdin is coming out September 10th. At the end of September, they're racing on the same day, Sleeping Beauty and 101 Dalmatians. That leaves The Jungle Book as the only uh, film that was part of the Platinum Edition and Diamond Edition collection that hasn't yet received the Walt Disney Signature Collection treatment. So they're really racing these out to market right before the launch of Disney Plus on November 12th. So while there isn't yet an announcement of The Jungle Book, um, I'm going to make a bold prediction that it either comes right around or before November 12th, or it might just not be an entry in this collection at all. At all. Um, I'm not sure if Sleeping Beauty and 101 Dalmatians will be the last of it, but it really does seem like Disney is racing to get these out for one last physical media sale before Disney Plus kind of makes them, um, I don't want to say worthless, because I, I think there's still lots of value in owning a physical copy of movies, um, but... Uh, perhaps not as much desire. The market's probably going to shrink a little bit, um, if nothing else. Now, this is the Blu-ray DVD digital HD combo pack. They're, they are doing 4K, so we didn't receive the 4K as a review copy. This was sent to us for review, um, but you can pick this up in 4K if you're, if you're a 4K adopter. Now, they had advertised that this was coming, but I didn't see any advertisements about bonus features. So this is the first time I've actually seen them acknowledge that they've produced some new bonus content for this release. Uh, never before seen bonuses. The sticker says we get an alternate ending, cast recording sessions, and more. So I'm excited to dive into this one and see what that more is. You can kind of see the title is embossed, but none of the characters are. And that's actually the same way that they did the live action release. Just the title is embossed and has kind of a whole foil effect, um, but the rest of it is um, is flat. Now there is a foil effect in the Genie's kind of magic dust trail. It doesn't really read as well on camera. Um, and then there is also one in that Walt Disney Signature Collection logo down there at the bottom. The sides, on both sides, it does feature Robin Williams' Genie, and it's like that no matter which way you choose to display it. And then on the back here, we have um, some artwork with Jafar and the Cave of Wonders and Abu hanging down from the bonus features for whatever reason. And there is your list of advertised bonus features. There is two ways to watch the film, the original and sing-along mode, so that is new. Uh, we also have that alternate ending, something called Aladdin on Aladdin, Scott Wenger's personal journey as the voice of Aladdin. Let's not deep be too hasty, join the cast in the recording booth, plus classic bonus features. So those sound like the items that are new to this release of Aladdin from the Diamond Edition. So if you own the Diamond Edition on Blu-ray, if you're not yet going to 4K um, and you're looking for any reason to um, possibly upgrade, those are your four reasons. Uh, for a full written review of everything that's on this disc, we'll post something on laughingplace.com no later than September 10th. So be sure to check back if you want a written review. Uh, but uh, this one, it does have a quote on the back. Uh, that claims that this is the funniest animated movie of all time. I don't know if that's a quote from 1992. Aladdin is very funny. I don't know that I would go and uh, make that statement. Um, but anyway, let's open up the package and see what's inside. Whoops. So my disc popped right out. Uh, let's put that back in there real quick. And there is a digital code through Movies Anywhere, so that's how you redeem your digital copy. And it does advertise that there is an exclusive bonus feature called Drawing Genie with legendary animator Eric Goldberg. So if you want to see that, you're going to have to redeem the digital copy code. Or if you already own Aladdin on disc, but you don't have it on digital, um, you can just go get the digital copy. It will come with that same bonus feature. More information on how to use Movies Anywhere on the back there. Then we have a flyer for the Disney Movie Club. And 
And if the um, sale of Disney DVDs is going the way I think it is after the rise of Disney Plus, um, it's going to be curious to see what the future holds for Disney Movie Club. But I do love them. I'm a member, uh, been VIP status since like I was in college, um, and they have a lot of exclusives. Right now, the newest ones are Twenty Thousand Leagues Under the Sea and uh, George of the Jungle. So you can get both of those on Blu-ray. I'm sorry, Black Hole and George of the Jungle are the two that are brand new to the club. So you can pick those up. The only place you can get them on Blu-ray is as a Disney Movie Club member. Here are the two discs for Aladdin. So we do have no disc art. Now, if you want disc art, Best Buy is doing a steelbook, and Best Buy steelbook uh, releases come with disc art. So if, if disc art's important to you, go check out the Best Buy steelbook. Um, if you don't love this packaging, this, this artwork, I would recommend looking into Target. They have a Digibook release that I think has the best Aladdin um, cover art for the Walt Disney Signature Collection version. I am, however, partial to this artwork. It isn't the same, but it really reminds me of the Black Diamond Classic VHS release that I had as a kid. Um, just everything about it, the colors, the even the placement of Genie, Aladdin and Jasmine being on the carpet, um, all really harkens back to that. So it's kind of a, um, a throwback design to what I remember my Aladdin VHS being like. Um, now talking specifically about the artwork, all of these releases, the Platinum Editions, the Diamond Editions, they always started off with some kind of a design motif that was fairly consistent, and then they all abandoned ship at somewhere, some way along the way. Now, that same thing did happen to the Walt Disney Signature Collection, which really is kind of a shame because they had been consistent for a really long time. This is all of the releases so far up to date. We're just missing the upcoming Sleeping Beauty and uh, 101 Dalmatians, but, you know, for Snow White, they had this kind of nice white design and what was cool was they were keeping that it seemed for anything that was Walt Disney era so Pinocchio had that white design Bambi kind of kept that white design uh, it was the here's even Lady and the Tramp kept that white design it was the post Walt films that that broke away from that right away so Beauty and the Beast was was full color I think this is Lion King was full color. When they went back and redid Lion King for the 4K release, they went kind of to the uh, mostly white design. It's like white with Simba on the side. Um, and then they broke the mold with Peter Pan. That was the first Walt era film to not keep in line with that. For Little Mermaid, for whatever reason, they kind of went back to it. And then, again, lost it all the way for Cinderella. Now, Aladdin goes kind of a step further if you're really big. Like, this is one of those things that just as a geek uh, really annoys me, is they all had borders around the artwork. Even Cinderella, the last one, even though it has this new multi-screen edition thing, um, kept the border along the sides. Aladdin completely loses it. Um, and so, again, it's just, it's just one of those weird things. Bugs me. I wish... They could have like maybe one designer when they start this collection, since they already knew what the titles would be, have that person design continuity artwork for all of the titles and just stick to that. But um, I digress. That's just me being a nerd. Most people probably don't care or even notice that this is a Walt Disney Signature Collection release. Um, that branding, I don't think, stuck as strong as Diamond Edition and Platinum Edition did. Um, but at any rate, it's there. I love Walt Disney. Uh, I like that that's the, the name of this collection, and, and be it that this is probably the last time these films will ever get a home media release, um, I'm excited that they did go with um, kind of taking it all back to the roots, where it all started. All started with a man, Walt Disney. So this is Aladdin, the animated classic, coming to Blu-ray on September 10th. You'll be able to pick up this and the live-action film. And again, both of these will receive uh, steelbooks from Best Buy, digibook packaging from uh, Target. Both have exclusive digital copy bonus features. So they each come with a digital copy. When you redeem those, there's exclusive bonuses that you can only see that way. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.